What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of New Gameplay Today. I'm your host today, Alex Van Aken, joined by Alex Stadnik. Hello. Hello. Hello, and Game Informer editor John Carson. How you doing, John? Hello. I, I'm I'm great. I'm wonderful. What are hey? What are we looking at? Hey, we're looking at Warhammer 40k Dark Tide. That's the new four-player co-op action game um, from the minds that brought you the Vermintide franchise, yeah. uh, which I was a, a fan of Vermintide one and two. Um, you know, kind of pulling from those Left 4 Dead influences. Uh, but Vermintide was like Left 4 Dead with rats, and it was honestly pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm excited to see, you know, their 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 take on a new Warhammer property. Um, you know, it's taking a, it to space. It's a bold choice to do a 40,000 year time scale. Yes, yes, really, <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, Continuity is just all over the place now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, this this game takes place in the hive city of Tertium. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened there? I don't know. <laughs> you got... just got caught. <laughs> right, but it looked like he did it to himself. I, I was very confused on what was going on there. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, we're, we're looking at gameplay. This is B-roll provided by the publisher, by Fat Shark, uh, the yeah. dev team actually. Um, and we were supposed to go hands-on with this at Summer Game Fest, but there was some a scheduling snafu and the, the, the event location changed last minute, so we couldn't actually go and play for ourselves. But I said, hey, could you send some B-roll over because I'm actually like pretty interested in this game. Right. Um, I, I think, you know, for me, Warhammer games are hit or miss in terms of, I am not like a fan of the, you know, tabletop Ooh. stuff, mm -hmm. uh, although I admire it from afar. You don't get your um, rulers and protractors out to- uh, No, yeah, no. I mean, I want to, it's just a matter of, it's, you know, you can only have a I few loves, you know, passions in life that are really, that time consuming right um, i admire it from afar when i'm just nerding out on magic at a different table so. yeah right um but yeah I've, I've been very interested in this game you know one thing to note I, I the art style is is different from vermintide in the fact that i mean obviously the assets are <laughs> very know. different but uh the the um shaders that they're using there it's almost got a cell shaded not not quite cell shaded but there's definitely like a uh, you know, outlines on objects, like like thin black lines around objects that kind of give it uh, more of a comic book look that I feel like I didn't notice when I was looking at, you know, more of the heavily edited trailers. Whereas now looking at, at this gameplay, I'm like, oh, this actually looks really nice. You know, um, flatter colors, but everything really pops because of those those outlines and stuff. And I dig it. How about, how do you, you guys feel about this gameplay that we're looking at? Um, I know I... So Vermintide was a thing for me and my friends where it was very similar to Thie Sea of Thieves in that I've pro I have probably played it maybe like five or six times, right? But like okay, yeah. every time we did play it, it was one of the more fun gaming sessions of that month or whatever it was. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it was, yeah. there was, it did a great job of scratching that itch of, uh, of Left 4 Dead, right? In just this newer fantasy, high fantasy setting, right? and. I am looking forward to this more so because I'm I'm more into sci-fi than than high fantasy. So this feels sure. like that it's even more uh, appealing to me. And I, I guess I wasn't. I know relatively nothing about the Warhammer worlds, right? That gets uh, me confused in my little boy brain. But I uh, uh, I'm really digging what I'm seeing so far here, just because of the chunky like sci-fi elements to it. I'm I'm curious how each uh, class plays, right? We're seeing a tank in front of us right there. Um, I'm wondering like, you know, how different each experience is gonna be. Um, yeah, I think that, the, the, that could go a long way uh, for me in, in the terms of longevity outside of just playing it a handful of times, you know? Yeah, they've said that there is a lot more character customization in this game. I was uh, kind of looking around on, looking at the different assets and you can definitely customize your character and, you know, uh, a number of ways and it seems like as well as like your you know your loadout and that kind of thing uh, in terms as well as like cosmetically you can like change you know you want a beard you want somebody that's bald you know typical character customization Joe stuff. Juba. <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah. the the big new thing here are, are, is the gunplay um and yeah. that's actually one of the reasons I, i'm so excited for this because i think the gunplay looks really great and i'm also regretting not being able to make it to that you know, last minute schedule change for the hands-on session that I was scheduled for uh, because I was, you know, the gunplay just looks so much fun. Um, and 
you know, Vermintide was, you know, well regarded for its, you know, melee options. And those are still here in Dark Tide. But now you've got, you know, ranged, you know, ranged guns as well. Um, so you can kind of, you know, swap back and forth and really kind of figure out what play style you want to be. Whether you want to be, you know, the giant tanky boy or you want to kind of lean back and uh, kind of stick to the back lines. There's a lot of different play styles. And as you can see, like, there are plenty of different, you know, minions as well that you're going to go up against, you know. And even if you are in the back line, there might be, you know, a big boy that somehow gets behind your tank and now, you know, your tank needs to turn around and and manage two different little, you know, front lines. So it's this is, that, this that's is like the fun of these kind of games right now. Look at this. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and like when you're in these moments, like in Vermintide, it was just so nerve-wracking. Right. <laughs> I, I like that the character was relying more on their melee weapon than their gun in that moment too. Because uh, mm -hmm. like, I don't know if they ran out of ammo or or what, but like having having competent melee weapons and ranged weapons i think is going to be pretty cool in this also like kind of opposite of what dan aiken was saying like i am interested in seeing what those melee options are as opposed to like the the guns in this futuristic setting because you expect like military weaponry and uh there's a dude just running around with a, with a with a giant sledgehammer mm -hmm. um or or uh or a broadsword and uh, I want to see what that side of Warhammer's like, uh, or Warhammer. <laughs> that side of sci-fi like. as well. Yeah, uh, because there's there's a, a lot of, I mean, there, I mean, there's a lot of lore <laughs> in, in Warhammer. Yeah. There's hmm. uh, 800 books or whatever. There's, there's a lot that you can pull from. Yeah. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what they pull from uh, for this for this cooperative factor, I guess. Mm -hmm. Definitely, yeah. Um, so again, four-player co-op uh, game is out on September thirteenth. That's cool. EC, oh. yeah, Xbox Series X and S, uh, uh, PC includes Steam. So mm -hmm. you can go and wishlist it there if you're interested in it. But cool. uh, any th any final thoughts before we just let this gameplay roll and uh, finish off the video? Yeah, there's a skull in that gear in that door. In that <laughs> oh well, yeah, they should really pull that out of there. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like it would get in the way. No, I mean that that's how that door opens. But, yeah. No. That's that's Warhammer doors. I think uh, outside of of Modern Warfare this year, right? Like uh, the shooters, I, I don't know of a ton of other FPS shooters that um, are coming out. So it's like there's kind of like that's kind Overwatch, of Overwatch. It's right, and, right. And Call of Duty. Yeah. High on life. I am like, oh man. Yeah, okay. So there's a good, there's a good couple, but I think not like not like this. You know? Let's not... just disprove your comment immediately. <laughs> right. Yeah, let's just look totally. I, make the, the, right. well, my statement stands. I said that not that I could think of. Um, <laughs> sure. But I guess for me, it's like I am I am like obviously I'm an Overwatch diehard, but like I need mm. to get my hands on it to be like excited about that game again. I just feel like there's Ooh, a, an probably. opportunity this fall for this game to stand out for me, um, and I'm looking forward to getting my old left for dead crew back and, and booting this up so word well alex john thank you for joining me on this episode of new gameplay today thank you everybody out there for tuning into game informer if you found this video helpful click the like button if you're new around here click subscribe so you don't miss another one of these episodes because boy oh boy we've got a lot of new gameplay today is coming out uh <laughs> over the next few days in the coming weeks we just got back from our trip to LA for Summer Game Fest, and we've got a ton of stuff rolling out for that. So keep an eye out for, you know, all sorts of gaming goodness, as it were. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, everyone. See ya. Bye.